looked pretty cool, but the real test, can I turn into a car? <laughs> Today, the Try Guys are playing with themselves. Guys, believe it or not, I'm not a truck. It's me, Zach, from the Try Guys. Today, we're going to be recreating some of our favorite childhood toys. And by recreating, I mean becoming them. Ah. How do Transformers procreate? The tailpipe? Today the Try Guys are recreating iconic action figures from our childhoods. It's all in honor of our new toy, our very own Try Guys Collectaboy. We pulled our favorite quotes from each of our videos and they talk. You press a little button and they say phrases like, my wife. All your favorite Eugene lines like, marry my mom. <laughs> <laughs> Pre-order now, but supplies are limited. So get on it, Try Guys fans. We've always wanted to make a Try Guys toy, but before we do, let's look at what are some of the most iconic toys? Why are they popular? I loved toys and dolls and action figures growing up. There was something so exciting about having a collection of action figures as a kid. I created all these storylines where there are these like, wars between the stuffed animals and my Power Rangers. The connection that I have with them and how I played with them still means so much to me. All I did as a kid was create these like wild imaginative narratives before they all eventually kissed. I, I have the, the Black Ranger over here and I got Bumblebee over here and then they're fighting and then slowly I'm just Mom, I want to play with my Optimus Prime! Oh, thanks, Mom. Wow, that's a, that's, oh my God, Mom. When we talk about toys, I feel like the king of toys, of course, Optimus motherfucking Prime. There's just something so thrilling about a toy that could be more than one thing. Oh, there he is. I hated these little zip tie things. Come on. Come on. Do you remember those Power Rangers that he their heads would go They're like they would flip around and it would be like human Power Ranger, human Power Ranger. This is gonna take me a minute if you guys wanna uh, cut to some puppies or something. Here he comes. Oh yeah. I'm not gonna read the instructions. Let's see if I can just figure this out. He can do a split. <laughs> Optimus is a figure skater now. I am going to recreate a toy from the iconic Star Wars line, Darth Vader. The most iconic character in the Star Wars universe. Oh yeah, look at this guy, oh he's big. I mean, he's a thick boy. I had pretty much every other Star Wars thing except action figures. He's a thick boy, he's got big hands. <laughs> you know what they say about big hands. I I had Star Wars video games, I had Star Wars Lego sets, but I, I never really got to play with Star Wars action figures growing up. Oh, they made him muscular. Oh, he got the DC Superman treatment. This Darth Vader's Jack, bro. Pegs are just shredded. Stretch Armstrong. This thing is from 1976, so the original arms were full of corn syrup. Ew. That's disgusting. How did they get away with that? It was the 70s. So there's one commonality in all action figures, and that is like impossible body types, right? Like G.I. Joe, even Ken. And I'm not talking about how he doesn't have a dick. Look at these boys. They're having so much fun. I wonder if this kid got jealous because this guy got two spots. And perhaps the most malproportioned one of all was Stretch Armstrong. Honestly, I had no idea what kind of box this thing came in. I thought he just bought it loose from the Goodwill. Not only is he strong as heck, but also his body was made out of something. What's it, just rubber? And I thought, that's fun. Toys can be funny. And I kind of loved it, because you could stretch him, you could like spin him around. <laughs> It was so like imaginative that like your body could be giant. Oh, check it out. Our boy has the inside pamphlet second photo. So there was equal representation across both white boys. Look, Ken has like skin colored underwear. I'm choosing Ken though. I did not have many Kens. I felt like he was kind of Barbie's beard, but Ken's definitely way off the Kinsey scale. And we're not bullshitting around when we say like, when you see Barbie and Ken, they are full blown gay. So I'm excited to turn into him today. Malibu Ken is the Ken that you know from the Toy Story franchise, and that's the one I'll be dressing up as today. But this is an example of a contemporary Ken doll. When a girl plays with Barbie, girl. <laughs> 2021 Barbie, when a child plays with Barbie, they imagine everything they can become. But I'm gonna be Asian daddy Ken today. 
because I'm not shaving this beard. I work too hard for this. This is my moment to give you a new Ken to aspire towards, and uh, it's gonna be Asian Daddy Ken. Ken's actually kind of like a gay Ned. I'm surprised Ned isn't the one dressing as Ken. Work it, work it, work it, work it. Yes, 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 yes. You can almost make him into SpongeBob. Yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> There's clearly a, a sentient head hanging out of this truck. Oh, oh, there we go. Ow. Ah. Like why? <laughs> why can he why can he strike like this? This looks a lot like my boyfriend. <laughs> Why isn't he doing this? Matt looks exactly like a Ken doll. Doesn't this look like Matt? Am I crazy? Yeah, I played with Barbies and I grew up to be with Ken. I said buy, not sell. You failed me for the last time, Commander. Oh, 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 Did I do it? I think the Transformers got it all wrong. I would drive around like this. <laughs> really what I wish we could do is make a photo of the other guys pulling me apart. <laughs> Just like the boys on the box. That's what we're gonna do today. I'm gonna become this guy. Which means you're gonna see a lot of skin. So now it's time for me to transform into Barbie's boyfriend. <laughs> I don't know what I'm gonna do with my hair though. Oh. <laughs> no. Well, this is supposed to be Ken's hair. It looks like a liver, doesn't it? Now it's time for me to transform <laughs> into Optimus Prime. You get it? I'm a car! Whoa. Oh, it's got eyes. Oh, that's freaky. So this was a, a $300 Transformers costume. For all, you know. <laughs> okay, classic Ken shorts. Brought some boat shoes to be like white person shoes. Are they called boat shoes because you wear them on a boat or because you own a boat? These are mats. As I told you, Matt is already Ken. Slowly really becoming this character. <laughs> Oh, 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 yeah! Just like the real thing! Now let go. Oh. Okay, this is my chest plate. I'm having more trouble with this than I was with the, oh my God. I feel like I look grotesque right now. Like a truck on a cigarette break. <laughs> you think I look like Billy Eilish right now? Strong cod piece. You don't think about it when you watch it, but he's got, you know, he's got the Henry VIII, no one's gonna like that joke. Look, everyone knows Optimus Prime's iconic dick piece. Without it, how would you even know who I am? Okay, should I try one of these atrocious wigs on? <laughs> Go to that Ken now. It looks like a liver. It looks like a human organ. I mean, this hair looks pretty right. <laughs> Did we do it? <laughs> Tassels, oh my, I forgot my tassels. Darth Vader meets Cher. And now, We'll always crush you. I guess I don't know any share songs. Try this wig. What do you think? Hey Barbie, you ready to go on our date with our friends? You bring Stacy and I bring John. John's my date. I mean, friend. Barbie and I are married, happily. We live together. Sleep in different beds, same bed. We sleep in the same bed. Who's editing this video? Can you, real quick, have me blow up a building? Nick, you pull this arm. Come over here. Sam, you're gonna pull this arm. I know, you gotta do it, you gotta do it. <laughs> yeah, me too. <laughs> this is hilarious! This is exactly what you want! Now let him go. <laughs> it immediately becomes like a gross used condom sort of feeling. Condom hands! <laughs> All right, let's take some photos. I don't know why I was wearing a mask for the pandemic. I should have just worn a helmet. Going to Trader Joe's and this motherfucker. I'll never join you. Stretch Armstrong. Coming to theaters, May 2022. Sorry, John Cena and Owen Wilson playing the same character. Right now I'm a man, but then I transform into... I'm a truck! Now believe it or not, this is not a truck you see. Zack is inside this body. Oh my God, I'm a truck! <laughs> Hi, Barbie. Can you be my Barbie, Kaylin? <laughs> sure. <laughs> Hi, Ken. Hi, Barbie. Do you want to go out for 
dinner tonight? Yes, Ken. Let's go. Where are we going? We're going to go somewhere so people think we're married. I mean, we are married. I mean, yes, you are my wife who I have sex with, not my friend who I have an arranged marriage with. Now it's time to react to our final photo. We are going to react to our before and after photos and also the wonderful pictures that our photographer, JD, has photoshopped for us. Let's see this photo in three, two, one. <laughs> Oh, holy shit. Oh my God, I look cool. I look way better in photograph than I did in person. I kind of wish that I had a Zach to play with when I was a kid. Instead of aspiring to be a robot warrior, I could have aspired to be myself. All right, let's see how I look as Stretch Armstrong. <laughs> well, the hair isn't the most convincing, but I look hot. Look at those rippling muscles. Also, much like my actual butt. It looks muscular, but it's pillowy soft. So now are my front muscles. <sighs> this really speaks to me. I feel like we're, we're so busy right now. I feel very stretched. And now I finally get to see myself that way. This truly does, in some ways, in, encapsulate how I maybe have felt sometimes over the last few years. Is that what Stretch Armstrong's all about? He's just trying to please everybody. I really didn't think I learned so much today. Hey, here we go in three, two, one. <laughs> I look awesome! Wow! Oh man! You know, the costume, I felt kind of silly, but this looks awesome! No! Let's see how my before and after looks. That looks like my real hair. Yeah, I kind of feel like I look like European drug smuggler in the 80s. Like a gay Ibiza cruise director. I look a lot like a real Ken doll. I could make myself kiss other Ken dolls, as it should be. Then I'd kiss Power Rangers, then I'd make myself kiss Transformers, and then I'd make myself kiss G.I. Joes. You know, not everybody gets to have their own stretch Keith Strong, but you can have your very own collectible Keith and the Try Guys Collectiboys talking figurines. We had so much fun designing them. We have actually been designing them for over a year. Should we do an unboxing? I think that, Let's yeah, do an I, unboxing. I, this All right, is here so it goes. Cool. Oh, wow. the colors are amazing. I'm like a fried chicken god. Oh my goodness, that is incredible. Oh this is my amazing. god, I'm the clitoris. Wow. wow. Mom, <laughs> what's a clitoris? <laughs> Asian of chaos. Oh, they're kissing. <laughs> Stop kissing. Stop kissing. All right, this is my comment. Oh, Nick, that you feel better. Daddy. <laughs> you can pre-order them right now. Go to tryguys.com slash toys. Wait, you, one of your lines is about my dick? Yeah. yeah. It's one of my catchphrases. They talk with such iconic phrases like, boop, my wife, and a duck. No, <laughs> no that's not 